driving rented a car because well renting a car was the only possible way to get to where I'm going Prokhorova Ukraine a small village about four hours south of Lviv at the south of the country and uh, I'm staying in a guest house there's no there's no supermarket around there's no restaurants the family is gonna cook all the meals there and uh, supposedly they're we're just gonna see what life is like for a couple days in rural Ukraine. So I don't know, really know what to expect. I think it's gonna be fun and uh, I'm excited for the adventure. Having flashbacks to Albania here with these bottles. <laughs> oh. All right, now no more for the whole trip. <laughs> I have a feeling that that will not be the case. That voice you heard is my brother James, who is joining me on this Ukrainian adventure. Unfortunately, his prediction about no more potholes was incorrect. Our arrival at the guest house was a bit chaotic, as Ivana, the daughter of the household, didn't seem to know we were coming. And we actually thought we might be in the wrong place. I think so, I don't know. Luckily, Galia, the hostess with the mostess, was just around the corner. Ah. Hello. 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 We just arrived at the house. They sat us down, they threw up plates of food in front of us. This is our first meal, dinner, and uh, and here we go. They speak no English, we don't speak Ukrainian, and it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. Uh, my brother said it was a bit awkward, I think that's true, but that's, that's part of the fun. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. So they presented us three choices of alcohol from which to do a, a welcome shot. And we chose the homemade moonshine made right here on the farm. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. <coughs> oh my God. Oh. oh yeah. I finished dinner just in time to explore the grounds a little bit and see Ivan, Galia's husband, put Lasunka the cow to bed. <laughs> Lasunka inspired me to hit the hay early as well, getting my beauty rest under this delightfully pink comforter and ensuring a good night's sleep before an early start the next day. Behind me, the Prokurava Schoolhouse. Galia, our wonderful host, she teaches here. She's a host and a teacher. So we're gonna go in, say hi to the kids and see what uh, school is like. Here in the village. School. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where is it here? Oh. Yes, sir. I'm from uh, California. 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 United States. America. Very far. <laughs> English? No, me English. English. British. British, right. John and his mum. Not mom, mum, because it's British. British, Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Hello? Hello. Goodbye. 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 Good morning. Good night. Good night. That's it. You know English. That's it. You're, you're good. <laughs> you speak English. Uh, where do I live in Prokhorova? Yes. With her. Teacher? With teacher at teacher's house. And yes, 
She, she hosts us, she, uh, she makes us meals, and she uh, sends us into the mountains on, on long walks. Yes. I, <laughs> I think that sentence was a bit ambitious. I know, I know. <laughs> yes. Hey, yes, goodbye. <laughs> I'm a teacher now. <laughs>
We're the only two bearded uh, creatures in Ukraine. <laughs> Hi. Over it. In Prokhorova, crafting things out of trees is a way of life. Literally, everyone does it. Galia's father makes beautiful honey spoons. Mikola, school principal and next door neighbor, made me a spoon using just an ax. And back at home, Alexi, Ivana's husband, showed me how to turn this chunk of wood into a gorgeous cutting board. Watch and learn. <laughs> there it is, finished. Alexi just gave me the cutting board he made. Amazing. Don't worry, I'm, I'm buying lots of spoons and other stuff he made, but he gave me this one. There are some fun traditions born out of living in such a small community, like in-person wedding invitations from the bride-to-be and her bridesmaids. You were just invited to a Ukrainian wedding. Can you go? It's Sunday, so Galia and Ivana put on their Sunday best and started the trek to church. My brother and I tagged along. As we made our way there, I noticed that only women had joined us and I asked Galia if any men went to church too. She looked at me with a sly smile and replied, depends on the man. All right, Sunday morning, we're going to church. As you can see, it was kneeling and rolling. Now I believe this was an attempt at social distancing, though in my whole time in Prokhorava, this was the only moment when I was reminded that COVID still exists. When exploring the church grounds, I was particularly struck by the cemetery. The tombstones, whether they were created recently or 80 years ago, were immaculate and clean. It really spoke to the sense of family and tradition and community here in the small village. On our way home, Galia showed us some parts of the village we hadn't seen yet. I like those uh, cars. Jihuli. Yes. <laughs> it's a ladder. Next up, a trip to one of the few stores in town. <laughs> okay, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> we briefly passed a memorial, and in hindsight, I wish I'd spent more time there. It commemorates the Heavenly Hundred, the hundred or so people who were killed by security forces protesting a pro-Russian government in Kyiv in 2014. With all the Ukrainians who have died defending their country since I was there, it saddens me to think about how large the next memorial will be. I can open another mountain, but we know where we're going this time, the cool swing.
the famous Prokhorova Swing of Destiny. You're swinging off the mountainside. There's nothing left to do, gotta swing. Ready for takeoff? What if I fly off and roll down the mountain? I'll have it on video. It'd be good content, yeah. <laughs> Byron, what, what's your uh, post-swing uh, statement? Uh, I'm filled with joy and mirth and uh, Ukrainian spirit. Hell yeah. I feel like a kid again. The swing looks so magical and fun, my brother and even Ivan got in on the action. Come on, Ivan. Use those legs, my guy. Dude, did you see me on that swing? He saw me. Galia prepared every meal during our visit and the food was incredible. She used all local ingredients, like apples falling from the tree in their backyard local. My favorite dish was the scrumptious Ukrainian dumplings. But you know what? Let's just do a food montage and start it the way we started every meal, with a shot. Cheers. This is a Ukrainian, a big Ukrainian thing. Cured fat, big in the Ukraine, big in my Don't mouth. Split one. Let's find out. You want to split? Yeah, we're gonna split. Okay. <laughs> Even that might be a bit too much. <laughs> All right, a split portion. That's not as strong as I thought it would be. It's good. It's just like eating butter. Salted butter. It's, yeah, you're right. It's like eating butter. <laughs> I mean, look at the plate. We're not gonna, we're gonna we just split one and I think I'm, I've had my fill. The food was so good, everybody wanted to try it. No. For our last night in Prokhorava, Ivan and Galia prepared a special feast, and not even a little rain could stop this barbecue. And since we hadn't shared any meal with the family yet, we knew this was our last chance. Last night here, we were sick of eating alone, so we're doing everyone tonight. The Apeo. <laughs> Where are the cats? <laughs> <laughs> there was another special treat in store for this last meal. Local musician Nazari Pavliuk played us some tunes. <laughs> the food, wouldn't you know it, was incredible. And then we got to drinking which prompted an impromptu fashion show from Galia, and she even broke out her and Yvonne's wedding album. What a dashing couple. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Mikola. <laughs> Here again is Mikola Petrovich, neighbor and school principal you last saw carving me a spoon using just an ax. As you can see, he's quite a character. <laughs> oh, come on. He's, China. <laughs> He's saying, which century from America do I remind, uh, do I rem does this area remind me of? That's a very uh, touchy question. <laughs> yeah, I can't answer that. 
Come here near Vic, tak? <laughs> Stone Age. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Nie, nie. Before the night was done, I had one piece of unfinished business. I wanted to tell a joke and get a laugh, even though there was quite the language barrier. There's a difference between being rich and being wealthy. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no. Just, you have to agree. You can't. You have to agree with the concept. Oprah is rich. Bill Gates is wealthy. Uh, wealthy. Okay. Yes. If Bill Gates woke up with Oprah Winfrey's money, he'd jump out a fucking window. <laughs> hey! Yes! That's Chris Rock's joke. That's not my joke. That's Chris Rock's joke. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> We're saying goodbye. It's very sad. They've been such nice hosts. But she's off to teach school. Hell yeah. <laughs> Can I have a hug? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. We'll miss you. Stop being too Oh, the aku yo. All right. Prokhorova is a special place. We were welcomed so warmly by Gali and her family. I cannot wait to come back. That is, if we survive the potholes. <laughs> <laughs>